welcome back to my channel fabulous Bree here and i am back with another video and this time i am showcasing a beginner friendly wig yes if you are new to wearing wigs laying wigs whatever the case may be this wig is perfect for you this is from divaswigs.com this is their curly bob unit i will make sure i have all of the description and details and everything down in the description box even the direct link to this hair so if you like the way this look and you want to also shop it as well you can go directly to it but yes you guys i am liking it this is really really cool really really good for like the spring summer Time, especially if you're into the whole curly hair thing and you know it's a nice lint so you're not too hot with all of that curly hair on your head so throughout this video I am showcasing a super easy way on how to apply it and how to lay it down also I didn't do any kind of like plucking or tweezing or bleaching of the knots because this is a beginner friendly wig which means that the knots are already bleached for you and it's already plucked in a way to where it'll look I guess you're natural. <laughs> but yes, you guys, this is the wig. Let me know what you think, how you feel down below in the comments. And yes, if you are interested in seeing how this turns out, then definitely continue watching this video for me. All right, you guys, so here is the tutorial part. I do want to apologize on the little bit of blurriness that I have. Um, I don't understand what happened in the process of me recording, but you, you can still see a clear vision of what I'm doing. So here in the beginning, as you saw, I am just showing off the wig before I actually put it on. As you can see, inside the knots were bleached and the lace is still intact. So first I went ahead and cut off the lace on the back end of the hair because I'm not going to need it. <laughs> and now I'm just putting it on and just kind of playing around with it trying to see what it looks like. And now I am tugging down the side of the lace just to see what I'm working with as far as cutting off and making it look a little natural. So now I'm just taking a hair clip and just pinning back the excess hair so I don't cut any hair that doesn't need to be cut. And now I'm just going to go in with a pair of scissors and just go as closely as I can to the hairline without cutting the hair if that makes sense. Like you want to cut as close as you can so whenever you lay baby hair whatever the case may be it will kind of flow and look natural. It won't look like clumpy and like just weird. I know some people like to do like jagged cuts to make it look even more natural but I feel like this wig has such a clean cut um, hairline that it will look really really good with just following the trace of that so that's exactly what I did and <clears throat> I'm about to finish it up right now. All right, so now that I have it all cut off, I'm going to tug on it one more time just to pull it down so I can make sure I cut enough off to where it's even on both sides. And it looks, you know, pretty, pretty even. It also looks kind of funny right here. <laughs> <laughs> but um all in all everything is pretty cool like i feel like this is a really cool beginner friendly wig so now i am just taking some free spray from got to be this is like their spritz kind of spray you can use a spritz kind of spray too as well if you don't have the uh, free spray but as you saw i went in twice just to make sure i have enough on so the hair i mean not the hair so the lace can stay in place and now I'm just taking a blow dryer and having it on cool and I'm just kind of speeding up the process of drying it and I'm also taking the end of my rat tail comb to kind of press down on it just to help it like lay flat and just stay in place while I continue to blow dry it. And here I'm just going to kind of like use my finger and I'm also tugging on it just to see if it's going to actually stay down in place and it does and I feel like that is a really good thing step to do because the only thing you have to really worry about is the sides so they don't flap up when you're walking outside with the wind and everything <laughs> so yes um, all you have to do is just use a, a couple of sprays of free spray brush it back to get your hair to lay back go back in again with the free spray just to kind of just make sure it's nice and coated and I use my finger to kind of just you know wipe it back so it doesn't run all on the side of my face and then you're just going to take that other side and lay it down and do the same steps again you guys you're going to take that blow dryer 
with it on cool you don't want to do hot because it's gonna kind of like not melt it but like get sweaty under there and it's not gonna stick so using the cool setting definitely helps a lot and then using the end of that comb just to press it down and make sure it's in place and I'm just using a little bit more of this free spray just to put on the edges of it and um just to make sure it's really nice and secure so when we're outside and walking guys it won't be flapping up with the wind or whatever the case may be it will be laying down and looking nice and natural and as you see i'm just pulling in along with it just to see how it does and you know just make sure it stay in place and now i'm getting ready to style it and i didn't really have to do much you guys this hair is so soft and just so freaking perfect you guys here i'm just kind of cutting off a little bit of hair just to create like a little baby hair right there and then to also lay down my sideburns because that's a must with me with any kind of hairstyle i do whether i wear my natural hair or wear a wig <laughs> i have to lay those edges guys so yes that is what i'm doing now and i just used some eco styler gel i didn't really use nothing too fancy for my edges just something that i would normally use all the time on my real hair so now i'm just gonna go in with some water i have like a little spray bottle with water and i'm just gonna spray my hair all around i'm not gonna make it too wet because i do like the curls that it already has in there but i want to do it enough to where it'll get it fluffy when i take a brush to kind of brush it out and make it really cool and just real fluffy i'm into the whole fluffy hair thing you know i didn't want my curls to be too tight and i didn't want my curls to be like too big either if that makes sense it probably doesn't <laughs> i'm weird i know but yes you guys this is just pretty much what the hair is gonna look like and now in this next um clip i'm a little mad because it's out of freaking like i don't understand what happened but as you see i'm just taking a powder brush and just brushing it out just to give it a nice fluffy texture just getting nice and big and just diana raw style if i could <laughs> And that is pretty much it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this wig as well. Don't forget to check out the description down below for all of the details and the link that will take you directly to this um, hair. And I also have a discount code for you guys too, so be sure to use that at checkout. And like I always say, you guys, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.